Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie and today I'll be doing my August TBR. Uh, as far as July goes, I only read three books. I read A Song Below Water by Bethany C. Morrow. I read Suicide Notes from Beautiful Girls by Lynn Weingarten. And I also read The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. And you can like know more about my thoughts on those books in my last week's reading vlog um, because that's really all I read this, this month, July. But now I'm here for August and normally I come into these videos like with my TBR already picked out but I wanted to try a TBR game. But the issue is like there's no t game I'm particularly attached to. Like I've never been that into like Monopoly or Trivia Pursuit any game, or any game like that. But I've seen a lot of the um, TBR jars and stuff so I thought I would try something like that. I didn't really have a jar but I had this book that like my mother and aunt in law got me for like some cards where um but my cards were too big so I decided to try this out I put a bunch of little prompts in here and I'll pull out five or six and um pick out books for them like that before we start though I'll go ahead and mention that not every card or every prompt has an equal chance of being picked there are 17 prompts that are books on my bookshelves that I have physically that I haven't read yet um so like those all have a chance of being picked and then there are 15 other cards where um like there's five that are um, pick a physical library book, five that are um, pick an ebook or audiobook from Libby, and five that are pick an ebook slash audiobook from Script. The Script and Libby ones might be combined, so I might be wrong on that. So like those will have a chance of being picked. And then I also have um, three prompts that say, uh, or like three slips, slips of paper that say, um, BIPOC author slash main character and then three um, little pieces of paper that say POC author slash main character. So um, those like will have a slightly higher chance of being picked and then I also have just a bunch of um, little single cards where it's um, I think well, I used one some that I've heard a lot of people use before where it's like um, pick, uh, pick a book pick an author that has the same initials as you or I picked one that was um, pick a book with a cover the same color as your shirt. And then I also um, included like read a series that my sister likes because my series, my sister is not a big reader. And so her, her taste in books when she does read is a lot different than my own. And then I have also um, read one of Chris's books. And Chris also has very different tastes from my own as well. So those are the prompts that will have like a chance of coming up. And any book that I don't have physically here, such as, you know, library books, ebooks, audiobooks, I will just pop a picture up. And um, hopefully today's Thursday. So depending on what time I get, like, you know, my physical library book order placed, if I have any of those pop up or any books that I want to read from there in general, I will go ahead and um, I will I'll put like a little picture of it in the corner. But yeah, I guess we can go ahead and get started with the first draw and put it where y'all can see it. Also, I can't see right now. Um, I'm probably going to put my glasses on in between takes. Alright, here's our first prompt. I think that's Libby ebook slash audiobook. Hopefully it focuses and you can read that. Uh, so I will pick a Libby ebook or audiobook. All right, so for my um, Libby pick, I will be reading Allegedly by Tiffany D. Jackson. Um, this book is about a woman who is accused of killing a child who's under her care. And um, the woman doesn't do a lot to fight it in the beginning. She doesn't really fight it hard at all. However, um, she's in a group home and she's apparently pregnant now and she's at risk of having her baby taken away from her once it's born. So now she's starting to fight the um, charges that were put on her. So I'm excited to read that book. Um, I really loved Monday's Not Coming, so I know I want to read more of Tiffany D. Jackson's writing. All right, so now we're picking our next prompt. All right, so for this one, I put an underhyped book. I probably should have put underrated, but yeah, I will be picking a book that is underhyped, underrated, all that stuff. For an underhyped book, I picked The Beauty and Breaking by Michelle Harper. And I haven't heard really anything about this book um, so far. Maybe it's hype and I just don't know it. Um, but I like memoirs, so I think this one will be really interesting. Um, it's about a woman. She is a black emergency room doctor. 
and it's kind of like, I guess about her, it's a memoir, so it's like her life, um, and about her experiences. So I'm really excited to read this one, especially because I really do enjoy memoirs. Right now for the third prompt. All right. Okay, this one is A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. So for Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, I'll be reading A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. Um, I bought this book because I heard other people talking about it. And so I, it's like about, I think it's a middle grade book maybe. I'm not completely sure, but I think it might be. But it's about a boy who, um, if, I can't really like, the, uh, the summary seems to mostly just describe the monster. But from what I heard, I think it's about a boy whose mom is sick. I think she has cancer or something like that. And she, um, like she's kind of dying from it. And the monster comes at night and kind of helps prepare the boy for what's happening. I think that's what I heard. Um, don't quote me on it. But um, yeah, I think this book will be, I think it's going to be sad. Especially if it, if what I like think it's about is what it's really about. Um, but I think that'll be okay. My mom actually died of cancer whenever I was a little, whenever I was about 12. So I, this is like just one of those books that I want to read just to see if this is like relates to how I felt at that point in time. All right, time for the fourth pick. Okay, so this is a reread. So the fourth prompt is a reread. For a reread, I picked The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. I loved this book in high school. Um, I've read it three or four times now, so this will be my fourth or fifth time reading it. And so I'm really excited. Um, I love the way it's told. So this story takes place in Nazi Germany and it mainly follows this girl named Liesel. And um, and she's like living with a kind of a foster family situation um, to keep her safe. And at one point they end up hiding a Jewish man or Jewish boxer, I believe actually, in the basement of their house. And she also on the side kind of steals books. I know, I think she steals one from uh, I think the mayor's library. She also still some that are burning, but her first book that she gets is, um, um, her first book that she gets is, I believe, The Gravedigger's Handbook that she finds in the snow whenever her brother dies on the train ride. Um, so she falls in love with reading once she finally learns how to read. And I love, I've always loved this book. Um, so I'm very excited to be rereading re it as an adult. All right, so now for the fifth pick. So for the fifth pick, we have The Grishaverse. Um, by Lee Bardugo. So whatever book I have to read next. So for Grish Grishaverse, I'll be reading um, the second Grishaverse book, Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo. This is in the Shadow and Bone trilogy. I was actually supposed to read this in July, so it's kind of funny that I ended up on my August randomized TBR. So I will do my best to get to it this month, but basically it follows Alina after the events of the first book. Um, I don't really remember what happened in the first book all that well because it's been a couple months. I need to get better at reading series closer together, but I'm sure there will be like a recap chapter. Um, so I, I'm i not as excited to get to this one. I kind of like, like my excitement for this series has kind of died down um, over the past couple months just with like continually getting new books and reading more books. So I'm not necessarily like not looking forward to it. I'm just not as excited as I was when I first bought the series. But yes, I will be reading this one sometime this month as well. And now it's time for the sixth and final pick for this month. So we have Head Over Hills by Hannah Overstein. Or Overstein Overstein is the fifth pick or sixth pick, sorry, for Head Over Hills by Hannah Ornstein. I'll be reading Head Over Hills by Hannah Orenstein, and this book's about a woman named Avery. She was an aspiring Olympic gymnast who had an injury that kind of just put her out of it. And um, it seems like, from what I can tell, like after reading the synopsis, the summary, it's a romance, and um, like Avery's just got a lot going on in her life right now. She, you know, had the issues where she hurt herself and could no longer compete. And then apparently her best friend became an Olympic champion and also married their coach. So that's a little concerning, um, potentially depending on their ages. Um, like especially when their ages when they met their coach. Um, and then also, I think she, from, if I read correctly, I think she might be also like helping train someone in her hometown because Avery moves back to her hometown. So, and so yeah, I'm excited to read this book. I'm actually really excited to read this one. Um, I almost started this one at the end of July because I kind of wanted to read, but I kind of didn't. 
And so, um, I just knew, so I think this one will be kind of sweet. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it'll be sweet. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I'm really excited to try out this form of picking my TBR. And I hope you liked it as well. If you have any prompt ideas, please uh, leave some suggestions in the comments. I'm going to try to add more. And eventually I'll try to make my little uh, sheets of paper cuter. Um, I just had notebook paper at home already, so that's what I used. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. And um, if you've read any of these books, also let me know what you guys think of them. But thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.